got a bunch of stuff in for uh, Joe's knees uh, motor build here. We're gonna teach him how to wheelie and then uh, teach me. <laughs> we got a whole box full of parts here. We're pretty much going the same build. That's the intake, boy. That's uh, we're going the same build as like both my stun screws, if you will. So of course, uh, stage six, everything else, pretty much. Isuni pipe and uh, Polini CP carb simple. So we're about to unbox everything. We gotta throw the cylinder on and let it all seal up today too. No problem. <laughs> what is that face, bro? Bro. How'd you know? <laughs> Did you know this is in here? Because I opened it earlier. That's Bro, what they said? This is from two years ago. Brandon sent it this? to me. In well, a can I use it before I send it back? <laughs> <laughs> look at this that is, shit. I know. Just look at my ass and my balls. <laughs> two years ago, Brandon sent this to me, and then we went to Ferry to Ferry, and I brought it. I put it on his hitch receiver for his truck. So when he had to pick uh, his trailer up at the end of Ferry to Ferry, what the fuck's on my hitch? And then he, he went to go back up the trailer and saw So who originally bought it? Brandon. He ordered it from China and put in one of my orders like two years ago. That's Bro, it's fucking deep throated. <laughs> oh my god. She got teeth and everything. <laughs> yeah, she's lucky bad. She got veneers. She's lucky. <laughs> Alright, we're coming in quick with just throwing everything together. So we're going to pop out the cylinder here in a second. Kind of get everything ready to put the cylinder together. And we're going in. We already pulled out the restrictor. Where did you, th you throw it away? Pulled out the restrictor in the pipe because it had a restrictor in there and it also has the restrictor on the silencer. So we took the silencer all apart, right. took the packing off, and uh, we're going to have to cut these two little welds and then it'll pop out this stem with this thing. kind of looks like this but a lot bigger. This is what comes out of the actual pipe. This one you can wiggle out the screwdriver, this one you got to come in and actually cut the welds. Silencer restrictor removed, silencer back together. Alright, Josie pulled up today with the frame, I already air leak tested the motor. Went ahead and slapped the frame on the stand, threw the motor in, threw the tires on just to get it rolling later today. It's working, isn't it? Oh my lord! No, 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 listen, 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 listen. It's, that's the inside still. I think what I did, I took a grinder wheel on the Dremel. Yeah, that's what I and need. And I just went from the bigger... Yeah, you had me going with the fucking... You asked me for that. You said, yeah, the machine. Go. He's cutting the air shroud out right now so we get the temp gauge in there a little easier. And then he's cutting the plastic so we can put the tail light on on the plastic. Basically, I'm just going to slap this whole entire thing as much as we can together. Today, with the big box of parts we have, pretty much everything, but not everything, because we're waiting on a few things. I don't want to put the exhaust on, because we're getting new tires, so we'd have to take the exhaust back off. And we're waiting on handlebars and a few other little things like that. Lacked on filming today, but basically got everything thrown in. So we have a stage six variator. We have five gram rollers in it right now. Brand new Melosi belt. A stage six Contra in it with stage six clutch orange springs and we got them like almost all the way tightened. We're waiting on the bell to come in so no clutch bells on right now. The 3AA ramp plate and we have a 3AA uh, OEM uh, rear pulley. So that's everything we got in there. We got the stage six crank, uh, stage six intake, Pliny Corsa bore. Um, we're waiting on the new intake boot for the carb, for the smaller one that can hold the Pliny carb. I run the two piece stage six intake going with the actual aluminum elbow and the two bolt spigot for the carb rather than the one piece rubber one because the one piece rubber ones tend to crack under the heat and everything like that, especially with things flying up off your tire and hitting it. They tend to crack easy and the one we actually got had a lot of dry cracks in it already. So I prefer to run the ones that have the actual aluminum elbow, um, but we got everything thrown on engine wise. The only thing I didn't do was put the exhaust on and that's because he had to order brand new tires because these ones are pretty bad and dry rotted. So before putting the exhaust on, taking it back off for the tire, I just left the exhaust off for now. These bars are just on there to move the scooter around right now, but he has different bars coming. We got a uh, straight clamp on it, and uh, we have a new front tire coming as well. So that's just how it is right now, sitting and rolling. I got the harness kind of laid in there, and uh, once that bell comes, we'll throw the kicker case on and throw everything together, and we'll actually get this thing started. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Many things going down on Joe's new Zuma build today. We cut the kicker case because you have to cut it to fit the clutch bell. You can cut it up here and leave a window or down below, but I prefer to vent out the case uh, and let a lot of air out. People say that it, this makes it weaker, but if you cut it behind this bolt where it's actually reinforced back here, you're pretty much good. Also, running the Pliny Torsen arm on the other side pretty much makes up for all that strength on this side. But we got 
some fancy little bolts in there stage six intake all on there cylinder everything is in there we got our wire harness ran i just welded in his kickstand so we put a kickstand on there welded her in this one's a little longer so it sits a lot more up front mine usually sit like right here this one sits way up here because how long it is you don't want it hitting the kicker case i actually also threw a little tack weld on the end so it stops the oh i touched the bar where you just cut it so it stops it sooner so it doesn't hit up there it actually ends a little bit earlier dude you cut this so diagonal what your bar i know i'm looking for the grinder to clean it but cool. bars on there stem on there wire harness ran new tire on the back we're about to throw his pipe on oh. damn look all the aluminum all over this thing carbs all on everything's plugged in fuel lines wait hit the fuel line but the fuel's gonna be low that's the only thing i'm just gonna stall out fuel's in there just saw it go in you want to start it? You want me to start it? You start it. Hold it, bit. Hold it, bit. Hold it, bit. Are you actually gonna kick it or what? I'm giving a little, you know, a little prime in that. A little prime. A little prime. A little prime time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he cycled it, Johnny. <laughs> oh, you keep it anyway. Here. Oh, yeah, we're getting flathead. Top drawer on the left. Your Zuma build vibe. What's that mood? Uh, wow. Let's see a kickstart. Wow. Let's see you start that thing up. Just threw the plastics on. This thing's running good right now. He didn't turn the key on though, because he's a rookie. But once he gets that figured <laughs> out, give it a little gas. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it'll be good. It's gonna idle. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's gonna idle. Look at that. Got some of this ta vapor tack uh, wired in. We gotta wire the one to his actual battery though, so we keep this thing charged and backlit. But as you see, we got the tack. We got the temp gauge wired in. We got all his random little like horn. I'll need to work. Battery's dead. Battery's super dead, but lights, all the wiring done. He just has to tuck all this in and wrap it, make it look good, but got all that. And we're gonna run the Speedo cable to the back like how I did mine. So I got the Speedo cable just sitting in here. We're gonna have to make a bracket right here and then JB weld the magnet onto the wheel to read it when it goes around. Got this cut, stage six clutch, uh, Melosi wing bell. Pelosi belt, stage six variator, everything in there. Stage six intake, Bellini carb. The only thing we didn't do yet is wire in the tail light. And that won't take long, we'll do that later, but we're gonna throw it on and we're gonna go give this thing its first little ride. We already did we already did three heat cycles on it, so it'll be the first little cruise on. We're not gonna go stupid, but we might need to zip tie that up too, just to be sure you don't get it caught on anything. Right, right, right. How you feeling on this? I'm gonna ride it. <laughs> you gonna pop it up at least? I'm gonna pop it up. I might need. With your, with you gonna pop it up without your feet down? Should we take, should we take the headlight off? I mean the tail light. <laughs> right, the tail light. Yeah, why? I don't want to scrape it off. <laughs> it's brand new, bro. Look at it. I want to see at least one wheelie, no feet down. That's no problem. That's no problem. <laughs> It looks a lot like my bike, which is kind of crazy to me. Let's hear a little, let's see a little bit of it. Let's see a little bit, let's see a little bit. Let's see a little sound, sound. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, that's you ripping out your arms. Damn near ripped out his arms. Look at that, uh. Right, he's gonna, he's gonna pull this dude down the block. Uh. That new Yusuni arm. Hit it again. Let's see it again. Uh. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna pull your shoulders out of place, boy. <laughs> we got his floorboard so greased up that this dude gonna have no choice but to have his feet on the ground. There ain't no way he's putting his feet up. This dude put so much armor on this thing, dude. He gonna, that front wheel, but you better not even like think about letting a wheelie down with that greasy ass front wheel. 
you're gonna slide out. We're gonna throw the back plastics on and the seat. Oh, we're gonna have to go try this thing. light on it we rode around the block a couple times has like four heat cycles in it so let's check the temp on it hold on stop real quick let's check the temp on it it's just not gonna turn on huh yeah i got a light on your shit 250 she's perfect <laughs> This guy put like shiner on his seat and now his seat's completely waxed. I did that with that blue and white 89 that one time. I messed up the whole seat for the life of it. A, look at that, that thing got too much torque, bro. This guy doesn't know how to wheelie. All right, boys, so I've been sitting on this video for a while because I think the last time I showed this motor was like a month ago in the video where I was selling a few of the scooters and I actually sold that scooter to Joe's knee and then we built the motor pretty much immediately and then it just completely escalated from there. But basically within like three days, we tore down the whole entire Zuma that was here, bone stock, never even tried to get it running bone stock, tore it down to engine cases, rebuilt the whole motor, let it seal for one day, then the next day came back, pressure checked it, did all the little nits and bits, uh, put it in the frame, and then the next day we completely finalized it, got it running, got everything completely wired, got everything, got it on its first ride, all within three days from basically bone stock 50cc uh, to fully built 70cc from bottom end to top end. He just grabbed one of my scrape bars and he put that on and we, what else did we do? We added the gauges. Um, and he ordered a seat cover and a bunch of other things, but I will show you the final product probably in the next video because I don't have it here anymore as he took it home with him now. So um, you will see a lot more of that bike, especially because he will be going on the ferry to ferry trip with us. So uh, you'll see a lot more of that bike and the thing's an absolute ripper, but I didn't want to make too big of a build series on it because it's basically the same exact thing that you saw with this one, like literally identical. He basically copied my entire build. So that's it. We still got some work to do. Um, teaching Josie some wheelies because he doesn't really know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to pop it upright. So he's not used to the two stroke. He doesn't know about the power band. Things ripping his arms out of place when he's hitting the gas on the thing. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put in some work now with the rider. We got the bike. We just gotta get the ride. We gotta get... This video is a couple days late because we ended up going out to California just this weekend. We went and kicked it at Danny Duncan's house again, and we went on another ride out. So stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be a really good one, and um, a lot more to come. And like I said, ferry to ferry is right around the corner. So I'll see you guys in the next one.